if I wasn't explicitly single, then I was in a relationship that didn't go anywhere and I didn't care about in the slightest, which is why I don't consider it a real relationship when I'm like, oh yeah, I've been single for this long. I just, I ignore them. I don't, I don't even look at them. Like, but I know, I know how I feel about her and I know that how I feel about her is real. And, oh, I got a checkpoint, I guess. I did something good. Oh, well, that's nice and murderous. Lovely. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I've kind of been, you know, because I've been single for so long, and, you know, it's not like, it's, it's not like, oh, I've been single for so long. Oh, boo-hoo, what was me? No, it's, it's more something along the lines of, like, well, let's see, how do I put this? It's more like I am, man, I'm, I'm lost because I don't know how I'm supposed to beat this level at all. <laughs> so anyway, it's more like. Sorry, I'm, te I'm texting my friend again. Um, you know, I've 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 been wanting, uh, not even necessarily a girlfriend per se, but just someone who's there to support me in whatever choices I may be making. Someone talk to me about that kind of stuff someone to share my experiences with yes the the role that would typically be played so to speak by the girlfriend it's what a girlfriend would do but you know not everything is requiring of a girlfriend some things just take a friend maybe I would like a girlfriend. I like to cuddle. I do. I enjoy it very much. But I digress again. I've just lately I've been feeling like you know, what if while I was sitting here playing, I had a beautiful, smart young woman sitting here right next to me just enjoying enjoying the game and enjoying hanging out with me and talking to me and someone that I could sit here and have a conversation with and I've been feeling kind of isolated lately and it's just gotten to the point where I'm like I don't I don't want to wait anymore you know I want to do something about it and I feel like talking to her might be exactly the thing that I need to do to get myself out of this slump that I find myself in and not even necessarily to say that I'm feeling like I'm in a slump but more just to say that I want a little bit of companionship I guess that's really all it, that's what it boils down to is I just want a little bit of companionship and I don't think that's too much to ask. In fact, I think it's relatively little to ask. But, you know, like, companionship is great, but it's, like, if I have, if I have a guy hanging out with me playing, it's not quite the same as if, you know, it, it was a girl. It's, it's just, it's, it's different. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but, like, I feel like, I don't know how to word this exactly, but like, I don't know how to, real emotion makes me uneasy, okay? I have a hard time with it, I don't know how to express it I don't know uh, I know how to express I know how to express 
when people show real emotion toward me, it makes me kind of uneasy, especially if it's from any male. It makes me uneasy, and I don't like... I'm not an open person. I'm not... I'm not a social person, you know, I'm, I, I generally, I'm, I'm the kid, the weird kid that just keeps to himself, you know, you've heard of me, I'm like, it's like, there's that kid in the corner, oh, that's, 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 that's the new kid, he's been around, but nobody talks to him much, you know, that, that's me. And I may be done texting my friend now, so hopefully my gameplay will improve, this is going to be a long-ass special for you guys. And, so, back to where I was, like, when I, when I try to evaluate something, it's like, can I do that? You know, like, if I'm hungry, it's like, well, how about, how about some ramen? And then, you know, oh, I go in my head, and I go, I'm like, well, what are, what are some of the perks versus the disadvantages of eating ramen? And then I go over my head, and I play the scenario, like, as if I had ate ramen, like, as if I eat ramen. And I go over the flavor and the amount of prep work and all that. Every, every variable I mentally have to factor in. Otherwise, I'm, I'm never content with it. And if I don't factor in every variable, then... I don't know. I, just, I don't like things. And when I, when I think and I look at the future and what it holds... You know, like, when I picture myself giving someone a hug... Like, I can see myself giving a girl a hug. I, I, can, I can see that, no problem. Like, yeah, whatever, I gave a girl a hug. No, no big whoop. But if I see myself giving a guy a hug, I'm like, well, that's, that's weird. What am I doing that for? And it makes me uneasy. And I don't, I don't, I don't really know what it is. This thing just seems to be on a timer, which I didn't realize. I thought it was actually directly tied to how that other platform moved that I was standing on. But it's not, so that makes that easier. But, um, I really just, like, because if I look, and I picture myself, you know, like, let's, let's take a look, and let's just, like, if I were to just sit down and imagine my future, and I were to take, and I'm like, okay, now, who would make a good scene partner for this scene, you know? And it's more often than not, I'm like, you know, would 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 this person make a good scene partner? Like, yes, I'm I'm slightly interested in in her now, but you know, what about later on down the road? Will, you know, will will her will I still like her traits? Will will I still find her funny? Will she Will I find her to be annoying, you know? Is is she someone that I can see myself building a life with and being happy with? And more often than not, my answer when I ask myself that question is no. But every time I play the scenario, every time I ask myself that question and I put her in the slot of my significant other, it is just a combination that works a hundred percent of the time I never see I never see failure I never I always see it working out you know I always see us as a great couple and you know I, I'm usually pretty good about trusting my instincts and I should be because humans are instinctual creatures I've gone on record and said this and I really do believe that humans are instinctual creatures and we should operate um, under the premise of instinct rather than on the premise of thought. That's just my personal philosophy and viewpoint. But, I mean, it's, it's, it is a valid viewpoint nonetheless. Just, just because... Just because it's maybe weird doesn't make it any less valid of a viewpoint and every instinct I have tells me to just tell this girl the truth about how I feel and I want to I do but then every time my logic gets the better of me and I'm like well what if what if what if I'm not reading this right? What what if she really doesn't like me? You know what what if 
what what if she's really happy with with the person she's with you know i mean i've i've, I've tested the waters as best as i can and as far as i can tell i mean yeah she's with him but i mean she's with him that that's about it there doesn't seem to be any kind of real connection there and i feel like she and i have a real connection now that could be totally bullshit bonkers and i'm willing to accept that and that's where my logic gets the better of me because i'm like oh well is is, is logic right is is saying something to her the wrong move you know what what do i do what should i do and you know i don't again like i said like the biggest factor more than anything is i don't want to kind of put that kind of strain on on her she has enough going on as is without me adding any stress to her really and if you know if if i openly speak to her about my feelings towards her then she has no choice but to acknowledge it and by acknowledging it she then has to either choose you know does she want to be with me or does she want to be with with, with him those are literally objectively the only two options in the scenario those I mean, that's all, like, she has to do one or the other. Either I'm like, hey, I really, really like you, and I think we should be together. I don't think you should be with that other guy you're with. I don't think he's right for you. I think I'm right for you. Please be with me. I mean, I could go say that, and I feel like I should. My instincts are telling me to. But then I logic it, and I'm like, now, wait a minute. Think about this. Think about this. If you say something to this girl, and she doesn't like you, well, then, you've either, A, jeopardized the friendship, B, totally, completely ruined it, or C, just made her feel bad for having to reject me, or all of the above, if she really, really, truly wants to be with the other guy she's with and not with me, which is a very real possibility i'm like that's i'm not blind to that i i could be being an insensitive jackass with how i see the situation how i feel about it i'm willing to admit that but i'm also willing to admit that for the first time in a long time i have s some real genuine feelings toward this person and I can't just abandon, I can't just abandon those feelings, you know, I've got to, and like, what if I say something, like, what if I do say something, and I'm right, and she really did want me, and she was just too shy to say something, but then I'm, I'm still back to the fact that I'm, I'm in between jobs at the moment, which, yes, is a temporary problem, but, you know, I don't know how temporary of a problem it'll be, or even, if it's even any kind of, if it's any amount of problem at all, you know what I'm saying, that's not something that I have the authority to say, that's something that only, only she knows, and, you know, what if maybe I don't know her as well as I thought I did, or maybe, you know, what 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 if we don't click as well as we thought we would and we ruin things and what if, what if we just destroy our friendship by trying to make something work that was never going to work in the first place and i really think that timing is incredibly crucial because if, if I wait too long, then I lose her forever, and I know that. At the same time, if I say something too soon, then I lose her forever. And again, I know that full and well. I have no disillusions about that at all.